Lift up the name of Jesus. Lift him up, my brother. Magnify the name of the Lord. Big up Jesus, somebody. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless him. Surely it is a privilege. It has been a blessing since morning seeing how the Lord showed up in his house today. We magnify the name of the Lord. the Lord. Truly the God of heaven is with us Amen. as he was with the men of old. He has not abandoned us. He has not gone afar off. But he has, he has been here with us. Bless his holy name. Praise magnify him. the name of Jesus. Praise him. I have been enjoying the words coming from this convention. It started off, and some I remember watching, watching. Um, I think it was Olympics or some relay once, and the race never starts so good. But because Bolt was running the last leg, it, it didn't matter. It didn't have to start good. But my leg. It didn't have to start good because you see, Bolt was running the last leg, so they have to win. But the man that started Thursday, praise the name of Jesus, brother Kadiri did a wonderful job. And then, and yes. then came um, Evangelist Curtis. We didn't really hear Pastor Mulling so well, but the word of God has been, been coming to us. Yes, but man. are we listening? Praise his holy name. Praise his name. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise his because name. Because so many times you get some, some true words of caution, something to, put, to make you look into yourself, to see how you live, what needs to be changed. Caution, caution. Amen. What is your true position? Amen. Because something is coming, and if you're not in a particular place, you might find yourself in harm's way. True. You might find yourself experiencing that which is undesirable. Yeah. But bless the name of Jesus. Bless his name. And I can't help but speak to the, the situation that we are seeing in the world today. Even though we know the word, and the word says love not the world, the people of God, the things of the world are always the excuse not to do the things of God. So I can't come to fasting because I was working this week and I couldn't be bad to wash. And that has been the excuse for two years of fasting. Oh my God. I can't come to night service because I have a project that I get a month ago, but it is due tomorrow. So I can't come. And the things of the world has consistently been um, the excuse not to do the things of God. So you find out for, for some of us, we have, we've gotten it wrong. It's every, the things of the world and then God. And it cannot be that way. The way how you see some people chasing the things of this world. Sister Sadie, there are some people who want to tear down the barn and build a bigger one instead of ministering to the people of God like yes. we are supposed to. Yes, sir. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise his name. Or magnify the name of Jesus. So that's why, so the Bible says that just as it was in the days of Noah, when people were concerned only with the things of the world, so shall it also be, and people, they should be marrying and giving into marriage and those enjoying themselves. They, 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 I remember a week in Corona when people, when there was a curfew and people supposed to be home in Pimenta Walk, one night, three parties. One up the road, one in the middle of the, the, the community, and one down the road. And it's only because I, wouldn't, I didn't go all the way down to snow. Maybe the, well, there was one there as well. But nobody care about the joy that is in the church of the living God, but only the joy that is in the world. We bless the name of the Lord. Bless we his magnify name. the name of Jesus. Bless they God. That if we don't set up ourselves for God, I, my aunt lives in Canada, Uncle Cassidy and sister, Sister Kerry and Ellis. And I saw her a few weeks ago. She, she posted a picture of the kids in a pool. And I texted her about it. It was so, it, they just looked sunny. Whenever, I've never been to Canada. When I hear about it, I just know. And, and I went on the news and I realized that they were saying that there are places in Canada where people are, it's just heat stroke because the place is so hot and they don't know how to handle it because there are people, there are people who them just use, they're used, to, they're used to the cold. And then you find out all over the world now, um, what do you call them? environmentalists they're going around saying we need to calm down on the amount of green gas emission and we need to calm down and waste yes, them because the ozone depletion and the place is getting hotter but that is their um explanation of it but i know that the bible says in the book of malachi that there shall come a day that shall burn as hot as an come oven on, oh, bless the name of jesus bless his name. i don't know how you look at it but before a baker or a cook is preparing a meal you have to preheat the oven yes. you have to get it warm you have to get it but if we are not cautious, that day that shall leave neither root nor stem, we will be caught in that fire. Oh, bless yes, the name of yes, Jesus. Sir. We will be caught in the destruction that was made for the devil and his angels and his accomplices, for those who were the spiritual wickedness in high places, yes. for those who set up the systems that oppress us as the people of God. And if we are not careful, if we are not careful, we shall not escape. We shall likewise perish. And I love how Brother Wayne just put it. It makes no sense we're being here and you keep a, a, a section of the law and you 
There's a talk in church that there isn't anything in the world. I don't agree with that. There's a lot in the world to do. As a Still, man, you can have holy for woman. You can take holy for drugs and feel good. You can anything. go holy for places. Everything you can there. commit holy for crime. Anybody offend you, you can kill them and enjoy it. There's a lot to do in the world. And depending on who you are, you can enjoy it. Bless the name of Jesus. So it makes no sense you're here and you only do a part. Only to end up with those that did everything. Praise go on. If it really makes sense, you go on and just mm. go live your life and enjoy and just perish at the end. Yes. Bless the name of Jesus. But if we really mean righteousness, it is time for us to awake thou that sleepest. Yes. Oh, bless the name of Hallelujah. Jesus. It is time to rise and walk in heaven's own light above the world and sin with our hearts made pure yes. and garments white and Christ enthroned within. Yes. Oh, bless the name of bless Jesus. Name. Oh, somebody worship God. Praise him. We have I to take this topic for what it is. This is not a wonderful topic. Sometimes we get some, some, some lessons, Sister Elise, and at the end of the lesson, they yes. say this is a wonderful lesson. This is a dreadful topic for yes, to, to inspire fear, that will inspire change, that will help us to enter the kingdom of God. Amen. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Praise Magnify you. the name of Jesus. So my encouragement to you is, take up the words, man. Walk according to the words. Come on, because man. We, I don't think there's a scripture that we can quote. That, that, that pertains to how we are to live as Christians. That we don't know. We know what to do. So it's just for us to do the better that we know how to do. Amen. Think about it. Everybody that has a child. You start beat the child when they reach a, a stage of sense. Because they know better. What do you think will happen to you. When God catches you. Doing something that they have more sense not to do. Amen. Brethren in Christ, I was speaking with somebody earlier, and I think I had this conversation with, I had it with Sister Sadie, I had it with Sister Rose, and probably another, like Sean and Alex, and you would think that because we have been starved from services a year without proper, like if you don't go on Sabbath fasting, you know that Sunday wasn't a thing, because the curfew was two o'clock and a year and a half without night services. And you would think that now that we have the opportunity, it is the same faithful few. So what have we learned throughout Corona? Just, just Corona itself. What have we learned from the lessons Amen. given to us from Corona? You find out if this lesson, if, when, when we study the value and joy of church service, oh God. three weeks of good fast, like the first fast and after that, Brother Fraser, it was good. Oh good in attendance. The night services, like two, we are two, three weeks of it, it yes, was good. Preacher. But the four week, it was back to business as I'm usual. Yes. And if we, we, if we hope to enter the kingdom of God, it can never be just business as usual. No. We have to do a bit more. There, 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 there has to be more that we can do for God. God has been so good to us. How can we give God what we think is the bare minimum? Come on now. That can never be it. Praise His holy name. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless his name. So you find that we have to, we have to wise up, gird up the loins of our, uh, the loins of our mind and be sober because, watch this. You find that, you think, based on what's happening, being star for service, you'll be energized. And I remember speaking to Sister Sadie they, 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 when um, the thing officially opened up. And I'm saying, it was very sad that you still know who is going to be in night service. You still know who is going to be in fasting. Yes, you still know. But watch this now. Yes, ma'am. Let us say um, we're going to have a youth day next week. And because it is still being socially distant, we're going to use a list. So only 10 from Pimenta Walk, 10 from this church, 10 from that church. Mama. You would be frightened to see how many people are cost to pass the faithful few who are in a night service by themselves yes. to come and worship in the great congregation like them business with service okay. like they are concerned with the service of the Lord yeah. or oh, bless the name of it's, it's time we talk about the That's things it. that are actually happening you know. praise the soul in the name praise it's surprise how people go on bad say a friend and family thing but what I've realized is that bird of a feather flock together <laughs> worshiper walk with worshiper praise people who concern with God walk with people who concern praise with God it. It is of God and of church and of family and friend thing. No, it's sir. About, it's about the work of the Lord. So we have to get serious and we have to wise up and we have to be cautious in Jesus' name. Over to you, Brother Fraser. Oh, please, I am joy of